Hello guys, welcome back to the channel. Today I'm on my uh, guardian. I'm gonna be 100% in uh, some maps. Well, a lot of maps. Because I wanna farm some black lion keys. I really want some of the stuff on the statue it's uh, vendor. And maybe we can get lucky and get uh, some expensive rewards from here. But yeah, we're gonna 100% some maps. And right now I'm here in the most hated map in the game. Most complicated map in the game. Most hard map in the game to finish. Um... Tangle the depths. Seriously, if you don't wanna lose your bane cells, don't finish this map without uh, doing what I'm gonna do now. So, right here I have Blishhud. Blishhud is an overall uh, add-on collector that have most of the add-ons in the game in one place. And I'll be using ticket guides to 100% this map. You go to Blishhud and you install ticket guides. As you can see, there are these trails that leads you on the way. When you have this installed, it will help you 100% uh, any map in the game so easily. So when you get to uh, Tangled Depths from Auric Basin, you're gonna be here. You're gonna go from Auric Basin, from here, from the Chack Hollow. You're gonna go from here to this entrance. And you'll find yourself here. But please don't do this if it's your first time uh, playing the game or first time in Heart of Thorns maps, just go explore, have fun, enjoy, do the story. Don't do this unless you're a, you're another character or just want to get it over with and uh, you have a headache from it. Because I don't really blame you if you want to do this while finishing Tangled Depths. I remember my first time getting here and I spent like two weeks uh, to finish the map and I didn't have uh, any of this add-on installed. Oh so, yeah, I'm just farming keys. 100% in... Uh, Maps is one of the three ways you can get keys in the game without buying it from the shop. First one is the story. At level 10 and 40 and 60 you're gonna get a key. Black Lion key. A second is map uh, completion. Which is what I'm gonna do right now. You have a 33% of getting a Black Lion key if you 100% a map. I just wanted to show you this map exactly because there are other easy maps to finish just to show you how easy it is to use uh, this add-on and it'll make your life a lot better if you're trying to 100% uh, maps. And yeah, the third way is the getting it as a drop from mobs, which good luck with that. In my almost six years of playing the game, I got uh, like two key drops from mobs. So yeah, it's very, very rare. So yeah, I'm gonna start now. As you can see, it's so easy. You just have to follow the track. It will lead you to the most uh, simple and uh, beneficial way. To the most tactical way to finish the map. People used to do this uh, without e mounts even. So, you can have an idea on how hard it is. I think I already have this. Yeah. Right now, I'm at 27%. I have no idea who made this map, but really good job. You gave it the feeling of Lost in the Jungle vibe. I'm not really good on my Guardian, so I think I'm going to have a problem defeating this. That wasn't as hard as I thought. Now we'll finish exploring the map. I think this will take like uh, 15 minutes. From my experience. By the way, there's a, a Fractal Rush event right now. If you want to get some Ascended Rings or some Fractal Currency to get some bags or anything you want. This is the best way. Well, not the best. This is the fastest way. Also, you can get a, a free accessory. Ascended. Use invisibility whenever there are a lot of mobs. You mount. If you haven't been to this place before, use the diving goggles and dive here. Jump to the water. It's an achievement. So lately, I decided to uh, hide some giveaways in my videos to reward people that actually watch my videos kind of like a reward system so whoever messages me first i'll send 25 gold okay and make sure you like the video and you're a subscriber
by the way, if you didn't know, if you're a new player and don't know this, you can turn your uh, Springer mount into an Underwater mount with uh, an achievement. In this space, you need to get these beacons so you won't get eaten by sharks or like uh, piranhas. No! I hate these zappers. Fuck. So I had to use my mount cell twice to get out of there instead of doing the event. Maybe you should do that next time you wanna 100% this map. Mm. That's it. I think I did the queen on this character. Let's go to the next. Now close to 80%. You see how complicated the map is? Like, who would think of doing that while coming here for the first time? Like, no one. Whoever made this map is the saddest and really good at his job. Okay, we're done with the waypoints. Done with the... Uh, thankfully, I don't need to solo this. Thank you for the food. Do you believe I don't have... Um, What's his name? Will Bender yet? I have no idea how to play the class even. We're at our last check. So let's see, did we get a key or no? No, not this time. At least we got the gardening cache, which we always do anyway. We also got a lot of uh, ectoplasm from uh, these chests. But more importantly, we got rid of the most annoying map in the game on this character and I don't have to do it ever again. I hope that was useful for you guys. If you need 100% maps, use the ticket guides and the Blish HUD uh, add-on. It's really helpful. Thank you for watching. I know the video was a little bit longer than usual, but I had to show you some stuff. Please don't forget to like the video and subscribe to the channel if you're new and I'll see you guys next time. Bye bye.